to politics tonight. Voters have just under two hours left now to cast a ballot in Atlanta's District 3 runoff. Yep, nine candidates initially signed on for that race, but it's now down to these two, Byron Amos and Antonio Brown. Amos is a politically connected former school board member, and Brown is a fashion brand CEO, head of a nonprofit, and a newcomer to politics. The winner will take over late Councilman Ivory Young Jr.'s seat after he passed in November. Now, the polls are closing in just about an hour, and joining us now for an in-depth look at what's at stake and how this is going to play out, CBS 46 political analyst and university professor Dr. Rashad Ritchie. Rashad, good to have you here. Good to be here. You made a prediction yesterday, and we'll get to that in a second, but... You know, originally there was low voter turnout for the race's original election day. Do you think that we're going to see a repeat of that today, especially when it's just down to these two candidates in a special runoff? It is still a low voter turnout. I've spoken to some of my people, my street team, and yep. the voter turnout is still pretty low. I will say this, Thomas, there are some dynamics that I believe Fulton County needs to coordinate better in the future. First of all, if you're going to have an early voting precinct, it needs to be in the district that people are voting in. Right. The early voting precinct here is outside of the district in both the general special election and also the special election runoff. And when you're dealing with a population that may not be as transit as some of the other uh, city council districts, that equates to low turnout it contributes to it. Do you still feel that Byron Amos is going to win? I think Byron Amos is the front runner. However, elections are funky and things can happen at the last minute. Antonio Brown, his challenger, is an energetic, young, very engaging candidate. But Byron Amos absolutely has name recognition. He is from the area. He has represented these folks through the school board and people generally know him. All right, so let's move on to another hot topic with the mayor and the city council passing a resolution to ban gay conversion therapy centers in Atlanta. Where did this come from? This came from common sense, Thomas. If you actually believe that life is precious, all life, regardless of sexual orientation, you agree with this, this resolution. Keep in mind the 16 states have already banned the very controversial practice, Massachusetts and New York being the most recent. In the few years that this has been a modern practice, you've had roughly 700,000 people to undergo this therapy. A recent study showed us that individuals, especially young people who go through this therapy, have an increased rate of depression and an increased rate of suicide. Right. And the increased rate of suicide is staggering. Some suggest up to 48 percent. So because of those numbers alone, the AMA, American Medical Association, and the American Psychology Association, they have been critical of the practice from day one. And I think the city of Atlanta got it right. Nothing like common sense. We will talk about those numbers, though, tonight from the special election. Rashad, great to have you. Thank you. Thank you.